All right, so here is the problem with max speeding rod coilovers. This is the lowest you're gonna get on a 1999 CRV. These are 17 inch wheels. Um, the problem is in the front, you end up with a gap of at least three inches, okay? To get it any lower, and if you've seen my videos before, you basically have to totally bottom out uh, the coilover, which means you have zero suspension. So today we are gonna fix that with some more cheap ass shit I bought on eBay, which these are extended uh, top hats, okay? These are $25 on eBay, and what they're gonna do is hopefully, <laughs> They're gonna give me two inches, at least two inches of drop um, with those stupid coilovers, okay? All right, to get max drop out of these things, you gotta unlock this guy and pretty much drop the spring all the way down to this very lowest position it can go. The coilover's already at its lowest position as far as the, the height adjustment goes, but pretty much we gotta just take all the preload out of it to make it any lower. When you do that, the bump stop pretty much touches the end, of, it just bottoms out. So you have no suspension. Okay, so my opinion on these things is that they're so budget that you kind of get what you pay for, okay? So I paid like 280, 300 bucks for these. I actually paid for these. These weren't sponsored. Uh, they actually ride pretty good, honestly. They surprise me how they ride. Longevity, I have no idea because I really don't drive this car. They've been sitting in this car for a year, but I put maybe 20 miles on them. If you go back and look at some of the other videos on this car, that's all the driving I've actually done on these. Um, but they don't go low enough. That's the biggest thing. Um, I've got a couple friends that have installed these. They have YouTube channels also. And they have problems with noises, noises, and noises, okay? And none of those cars ran these things more than two months, okay? Because those guys were actually daily driving their Civics or Cord or whatever the hell they were. Here's another one of my gripes that when you go to adjust these guys on the car, these little baby spanners they give you are so small, all right? that you're, they beat your hands up. If you look at how big a BC one is, or any like name brand coilover, we'll give you one that's actually worth a shit, all right? Like, that these guys really don't tear you up too bad. I wanna let some of the preload out. So I wanna take that hat off and it can kill me. So here's a good example of what I'm talking about here. You have to do this to get any more drop out of it. Just lower this perch all the way down like this, okay? So to get it to be low enough. So you do this, and then you end up with this, okay? We're gonna try to eliminate this, all right? Here's another thing. If you actually bought these and you have them on your car now and you didn't use any Loctite on it, go back, you're gonna need to go back and Loctite everything, because I had everything come loose. Oh, I just, Broke the adjuster there. Cool. It's, yeah, it just broke the adjuster off that. I had to set on full hard anyway. It's not gonna make it doesn't make you can't drive without it on full hard anyway. So whoops. Not the top rubber off here. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to reuse this sleeve that's in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna reuse the max speeding rod bushings. We go there. One goes inside there. Just like that. We get the sleeve, stick it in there like this. Take this out. I don't care about this. Bump stop the washer. We're using the max speeding rod bushings inside of this. Okay, don't forget the rubber. Goes down like this. Bam. Got the max beating rod collar in there also. Washer. Nut. Okay. So tighten that down. So if you look now that the perch, where the perch is, okay, I can actually have it right about here. Okay, and still have some spring rate. And it's gonna lower the car where I actually because before you could see how much adjuster I had, I had like at least two inches of adjustment of, of thread showing. Now I have like one finger length right there, which is good. This is gonna work out okay, hopefully. All right, 
there we go. Top hat installed. Hopefully this works out good. I feel kind of bad. I broke the adjuster there, but it's set on full hard anyways. I mean, that's where I was going to leave it anyways. I think I can, you can still kind of adjust it. You stick it back in there, but oh well. All right, coilovers back in. You can see how high the extended hat sit. Looks a lot better. Should ride better now that, you know, it's actually riding on springs at this height. And it's, it still sucks. I mean, like, to get it any lower, you'd have to start maxing it out again. But, you know, max speeding rods, come on, man. Like, it's going to have to work for now. See you guys in the next video.